Hi, I'm Valley Flying. I'm Combs. I'm Tony Bang. I'm Overthor. I'm Papokemia. I'm Tona. I'm Dorian Blade from the Ravager Report. Together, we are the community based content creators from Marvel Strike Force. Through videos, blogs, and podcasts, we do our best each week to bring you the latest information about the game. With voices independent from Fox Next. We're not influenced or dictated by Fox Next for any of our content. While most of the time we're here to have fun, entertain you, and help you improve in the game. When we see the game moving in a direction we all agree is potentially bad for the community, we feel it is our duty to step up and try and unite with one voice. To unite and hope to bring our concerns and yours to where it matters. To Fox Next. That's why we're here together to talk about Red Stars and the dramatic impact that it's having on the game. The implementation of Red Stars has had an immediate and predominantly negative impact on the game for most players. All plans for gearing and farming are now out the window as every player holds on to gear and gold in the hope that they roll a six or seven star character that is useful. Months of farming day after day to have end game viable teams is now mostly for nothing. This is because Red Stars are now by far the single most powerful boost any character can have. More than gear, more than gold, more than levels. With a ridiculously steep progressive curve, if you're lucky enough to roll a seven red star, all stats are increased by a ludicrous 75%. Maybe your luck is wasted and you roll a seven star on a useless aim minion. Or maybe you'll end up rolling a character who is already super powerful and in a heartbeat become an untouchable god in arena. Either way, you have no power over this decision, no choice. There is no planning. There is no strategy. Just plain old luck. Your success in every aspect of this game is now 100% determined exclusively by a dice roll. The only way to win is to roll, to buy another ticket in the lottery. This style of loot box gambling is being discussed in governments all around the world from the state of Hawaii and the US through to the European Union and even currently in the Senate in Australia. It is described as predatory and many experts suggest these styles of systems prey on people with impulse control and a predilection to gambling addiction. As a result, many people are wanting this style of gambling removed from video games entirely to protect children and those vulnerable. Families from around the world have written to their local Congress member to ask them to remove this kind of toxic behavior from gaming. By going down this road, Fox Neck has taken a wonderful game filled with some of the greatest characters in the universe with unique gameplay elements and a fun progression system and turned it into a lottery where only the lucky progress and the rest are stuck in an RNG filled nightmare. So Fox Next, we're talking to you now. We're asking you for out of love for the game. Reconsider Red Star. Scale down the progression curve. Make the system more specifically farmable for characters that players want to actually work on. Without the dice roll reliance to win at the game. Listen to the community and make changes to alleviate the concerns. Be the heroes we need right now. 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 Be the heroes we deserve. Be the heroes we deserve. Be the heroes that we deserve. And for all players, both new and old, it is important to remember that as players, we too have some power to let our voices be heard at Fox Next. If you feel strongly one way or another about Red Stars, you can leave a review at the iOS store or at the Google Play store. You can decide whether or not you want to support Fox Next financially and their offers going forward. You have a voice. It's time to come together as a community. It's time to stand united. It's time to assemble. 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 It's time to assemble.